Hey guys, today we're going to have a, um, a quick video on uh, solving two-step equations. And some of the vocabulary I'm going to use are, is the word term, uh, and a constant or a constant term, and a coefficient, which is a number that multiplies a variable and a variable term, and a reciprocal. Okay, so um, here we have a, a pretty basic what's called a two-step equation. It's a two-step equation, and I can look at it and tell because on one side of my equation I have two terms. Um, one is a constant term. Notice that there's no variable. And the other one is is a variable term. And inside every variable term, there has to be a coefficient. The coefficient is that number that multiplies uh, the variable. So for example, if I have a uh, term like this, negative 4y, the coefficient is negative 4 because that's what I'm multiplying y by. If I have something like um, n, the coefficient is understood to be 1 because I have 1 of the n's. I'm multiplying that n by 1. So every variable does have a coefficient in a variable term. Our objective when we're solving equations is to isolate the variable. Isolating the variable means get the variable alone. So we want to be able to get rid of everything that's on the same side as the variable and get it on this side, the right side, to get vari uh, the variable alone. And basically if I get x alone, whatever is over here, say it's 7 or 9 or whatever, we're saying that the value of the variable that makes the equation true is whatever that number is on the other side of the equation. Okay, so the one thing we want to do is um, to get the x alone, we want to get the variable term alone first. So that's kind of our first order of business, getting the variable term alone first. So in this particular equation, we would have to get rid of the constant. How we get rid of the constant in our two-step equation is we add or subtract. In this case, we would subtract 11 from both sides. That would be the constant, to get rid of the constant. Our second one would be to either multiply or divide to get rid of this 3, the coefficient. Okay, So let's just see that um, in action. If you want, you can go ahead and jump ahead and do this on your own. You can pause and do it yourself, or you can wait till I do it. Okay, um, our first step, like I said, is to add or subtract the uh, constant, so we're going to subtract 11 from both sides. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do it to the other to keep the equation true. Once we subtract 11 from both sides of this equation, my expression on the left side is just a variable expression. 3 times x, 3 times some number is going to equal is negative 9. How do I get x alone now? Is That's our second step. I multiply or divide whatever way I can get x alone. In this case, I'm going to divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. That's what it means to get x alone. So I have 1 times x. Of course, if I divide this side by 3, I also have to divide this side by 3. Negative 9 divided by 3 is a negative 3. This is our solution. If I plug it back into the original equation, this equation is true. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and pause this and give it a shot. Okay. Again, we want to add or subtract to get the variable uh, to get the variable term alone. Here's my variable term. So the thing that I'm going to add or subtract is the constant that's on the same side over here with our variable term. Subtract 28 from this side. If I subtract 28 from one side, I have to do it to the other side. My 5x just comes along for a ride. 8 minus 28 is a negative 20. Our second step is to multiply or divide. How am I going to get x alone? got to get rid of this 5. To get this to be 1, I divide by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. But if I divide 5 on this side, I have to do it on this side. Negative uh, 20 divided by 5 is negative 4. That means the value of uh, the variable in this equation that will make it true would be negative 4. Okay, I want to just uh, try this one. Okay, again, I want to get the variable term, and here's my variable term, so I have to get rid of the 7. Remember, this negative sign uh, is part of the variable term. In fact, it means it's negative 1y. So my constant is a positive 7, and I've got to get rid of that from this side. 
I subtract 7 from this side and 7 from this side. So what comes along now is not y, but it's a negative y. 13 minus 7 is 6, and now i got to get y alone because it's not what I want. What I want is just 1y, and right now it's a negative 1y. So I'm going to divide by negative 1. If I divide this side by negative 1, I have to divide this side by negative 1. And I get y equals negative 6. Okay, try that one. Okay, here, um, notice I have 1 third times x plus 8. So um, you can say that our coefficient is 1 over 3 times x. That's what's multiplying x at this time. So i got to get rid of my 8. I subtract 8 from both sides. Remember, that's always that first step. Add or subtract to get the variable term alone. Now, how am I going to get x alone? I have to get rid of this 1 third. How am I going to do it? I am going to multiply by the reciprocal of the coefficient. The coefficient is 1 over 3. The only way I can make it 1 is by multiplying by the reciprocal. Two reciprocals multiply to be 1. But if I multiply this side by 3, I have to multiply this side by 3. X is now alone because these all simplifies to 1. 6 times, and that's 6 over 1 times 3 is, of course, 18. Number 5, give this a shot. Okay, same thing. Notice that my variable term is over here now. I'm going to add 13 to both sides, and I get to this. Now, someone may ask, what's the coefficient of this? Well, you could say it's 1 sixth times x. Now what most students look at though, they they see this as it's x divided by 6. That's okay. Okay, just as, as long as you understand the same way that I would get rid of 1 6 would be to multiply by 6 over 1. It's the same way I would get rid of the 6 here. I would multiply by 6 over 1. And those would cancel to give me a um, uh, coefficient of 1 on the left side. Of course, if I multiply this side by 6, I multiply this side by 6 and x equals negative 48. Our last problem, okay, give this one a shot. Okay. Again, I want to add or subtract to get the variable term alone, so I'm going to subtract 17 from both sides. Just like before, remember that negative side. Very important to remember that that goes with the variable term. So this is a positive 17. To get rid of that, I'm going to subtract 17. I do it from this side. I, of course, do it from this side. This comes down as a negative 2 over 3x equals 6. How am I going to get rid of the negative 2 over 3? Well, I'm going to multiply by its reciprocal. The reciprocal, what I would multiply to get to 1 is a negative, because that negative times a negative is a positive, 3 over 2. If I do it to this side, I, of course, have to do it to that side. would give me 3 times a negative 3 and negative 9 on this side. Okay. Um, look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow with any questions that you have on today's lesson.